Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Nikki Zick and today I'm going to be showing you something different than it is usually on my channel. This is dogs. This is a beagle. I've been playing around with different breeds and having a lot of fun. And here's a whole sheet that I did of all different poses of beagle dogs and the the shades of the three colors to make the dog interesting was really fun to do. I did a Boston Terrier because I have one. Let's show you Maxwell. He is all Boston Terrier positions. I also did, what else? Let's see. I did, uh, I did a lot. Here's some fun poodles I did. Here's some Dal Dalmatians and German Shepherds. And these guys look like little pigs. I don't know what happened to them. But these were the initial trials. And I finally am happy with the way my beagles turned out. So I'm going to show you today how to paint little beagles. We're just going to start with these two positions, a side view and then one sniffing down at the bottom. And I'm using a round brush. I'm using three different sizes. The first one I'm using is a size 10. And I'm, I'm using a very diluted black for the first shade. And I'm going to paint the dog the whole outline of the dog and filling of the dog with this light, light gray. So dab your brush off and then I'm going to start with the nose and it's kind of like a squarish and then you come up for the head and then down do an arch and a curve for the the bottom, the butt of the dog and then come down in the side for the chest and then one leg down and then the paw and start filling in. Get a little more paint if you need it. And the dog's paw, the hind leg, and then the tail that comes out a bit. And that should be it for the first little bit more of the paw. And you don't have to have all the details in right now. We just want that, the shape of the dog. Okay, next we'll do the side view dog. Just mixing up my paint a little bit thinner, dab off. And now that we'll start with the dog's head down. He has a floppy ear. And then the arch of the dog's back. The tail coming swooped out, the hind leg. And then you just fill in, bring the paw down, the front paw the arch of the belly, and then the hind leg in the back, and he's got two legs in the back, so show a little bit of that leg, okay, and we'll let those dry, he looks a little small, but we'll work with it, next I'm going to go to a smaller brush, this is I don't know, the number came off. Looks like maybe a four. And then I'm gonna use a rusty brown, which I used orange. I mixed, and a little bit of brown. And it gives you a nice orange, like a rust. And you want a very thin consistency with a lot of water because we're doing overpainting now. So for the first dog, we'll do the shape of this brown around his leg, come down the arch of the back with the brown, and up the tail a bit. Okay, and then we'll go to the second dog. He's got some brown on the top of his head. It's going down one leg. Follow the arch of the back, the 
little more paint down his hind leg and a little bit on the tail. Okay, as we're letting that dry, we have to mix up a nice brown for the third color. For our beagle, I think we gotta wait a minute. In the meantime, we can put our little freckles on our beagle. It's got three little freckles. Three little freckles. We can also paint in the nose and the eye. Why well, should we paint the nose? The nose is like a little squarish rectangle here. This one we're going to cheat and do it outside. His face is a little small. Okay, then we'll go with the darker brown for our last shade on the beagle. Okay, first we'll do his ear. Dab off a little paint. His big ear. And then we'll just get a little more paint. Dab off. And we'll do the last shading. Follow the arch of the back. And then fill in and make another shape around the hind leg. the beagle actually let this dry a bit I'll give some shading for the other paws that are there a little dark for the other paw on the back and leg just giving it another coat of gray Okay, now we'll do the brown on the second dog. We'll do his ear, which I painted already in gray. And then the arch of the back, a little more paint. Arch of the back of the dog. And then you make these shapes. I think this dog is still a little wet. It's bleeding a bit. But uh, last thing we need to do is add an eye on each one. And there you have it. Two little beagle dogs. Second one I'm not too happy with. I like the first one. But the more you practice, the better you'll get. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you and bye-bye.